Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to subtract these two polynomials. Now, I like this one because looking at the subtraction, um, you can see that they don't have all the same terms. Uh, really, the only like terms that I have is y squared. But what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to first rewrite it as an addition problem, and then I'm going to use our vertical method uh, to actually add them. So when writing something as an addition problem, Think about it, you know, if I have 5 minus 4, if I want to rewrite this as an as addition problem, I can write this as 5 plus, I don't know why a 4 looks like that, 5 plus negative 4, right? So any subtraction problem we can always write as an addition problem. Now, when doing that though, what I have to do is I have to make sure I distribute this negative to each and every one of my terms, right? Because basically this is a negative outside of a parenthesis. So when you have a negative outside of the parenthesis, you have to apply your distributive property. Um, to both of the, all of the terms inside the parentheses. So when I apply distributive property, I can rewrite it now as an addition problem. So basically, I have 2y squared minus 3y distribute. So negative times negative 4y is now positive 4y cubed. And then negative times y squared is going to be uh, minus y squared. So basically, what I'm doing now is I change it to a, a addition problem, and I'm adding. So now, let's just write it out. So make sure you have them in descending order here. So I'd have 2y squared minus 3y. And then I'm going to add. Now notice there's no other terms for 4y cubed. So I'm going to write that right here. So I have 4y cubed. And then I'll put a negative y squared under this column for the y squareds. So therefore, I can make sure I can um, add them up directly. And you can see this one's going to go straight down. There's nothing here. So when I add them, nothing to add to 4y. So I just bring that down. 2y squared plus negative y squared is just going to be a positive y squared. And then I just bring that answer down. There's nothing to combine it with, which would be a negative 3y. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you subtract two polynomials that do not have all the same term, like terms, something like that. Thanks.